Greetings people, Yard Reviews. We're back from a long hiatus. And me and Irv are Yo. here to talk about Peaky Blinders, season three, episode oh. one. And in the beginning, they show you that oh, this is two years after the events of the last episode. They show you a glimpse of the last episode when Tommy's about to be killed. Mm -hmm. And um, it goes on to the wedding now where we're trying to figure out w which girl it is. Oh my god. And you know, everybody's there oh thinking what's going on and you know, her face is covered and stuff. And funny enough, you know, when when, when she was coming up the, the, the stair, like when she was entering the church, mm -hmm. you saw dark hair, like because of the thing. So yes. I, was like, I was like saying, alright, cool, it, cool. But so, it still could have been her or May. It could, it could be. I, I can see where they tried to do a little bit of trickery. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mess with yeah. me. But the thing is, I knew in my heart from the last one it was going to be Grace. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm serious. <laughs> I just knew. I just knew. I was like, I was like listen, I'm going, I'm going to pick the bird that I'm have the kid with, even though the other bird is better for him. Yeah. With, you know, with the whole situation. So, but anyway, um, yeah. so beginning of the episode, mm. you realize that yeah. right now Tommy is on a different level. Yeah. He, is, he has this big house in Warwickshire or whatever mm -hmm. with a church like right opposite opposite it yeah, you know what I mean yeah. so and he's not really in Birmingham anymore the business is still there I'm still yeah. run the city yeah but he's away from it now yeah he has a son that's about two years old looking like but four. looking like four and you know crying and there's this big babe anyway it's not even <laughs> for that. but um I did get to say like a glimpse of like all the brothers doing it and also the nephew mm. um, doing their thing so you, everybody gets their little shine in it and then all of a sudden now you get to realize that there's this um, guy that's there and he's Russian yeah so you get to realize that yo he's D, he's doing some business D. they never really made it clear in the beginning mm. but then you can get to start piecing up things with little conversations that they're having like yeah. him having with Arthur yeah. him having with Polly yeah. and him having it even with him with his wife Grace or whatever yeah 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 like remark. so you get, you get to pick certain things up so what I'm getting from the episode I mean um, I'm not sure if you guys know more you guys can chime in on the comments let me know what you think but personally I think that the deal with Churchill is he's provide the, the, the English British government's providing arms mm. and Tommy's the one is supposed to be selling it to the Georgians for them to probably fight off the Russians. Yeah. So that that's the thing is going on. So that's the deal. That one makes the most sense. Exactly. So that this is what I'm picking up from it. I mean, I'm probably right, I'm probably wrong, I don't know, but this is what I get from it. But in this in this um you know first episode, you get to see this Russian guy, he says some sort of code word. Then he meets up with the a Russian bird. Yeah, some Russian bird or Georgian bird or yes, whatever. Dropping off and, some money. Yeah, and basically, him he um he gets the money. I guess the he, the police is gonna drop off the arms or whatever yeah. or, or, or sort or out or. He's like the know, middleman that the government. He's basically used the middleman. He's keep their hands clean. Ex exactly because they know that he's grimy. You yeah. know what I mean? So anyway. So that happened, mm. and then you get to you get you get to realize that the guy said the wrong code word. So, um, Tommy put Arthur to put a hit out on the guy or whatever. You get to realize that Arthur has this woman in his life now. She seems to be some sort of Christian woman. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. So, so cause you know, in the last few episodes, Arthur had problems with drugs and was, the war, yeah, and you know, he had this PTSD you know big mental stuff. issue. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So right now he says that, but with the woman there Seems with him, seems to have calmed him because calmed him a lot. He's not drinking from the speech that he gave at the wedding. Yeah, and, and but here's the thing, he's not no, drinking. No, no, yeah, but no, it's it's getting conflicted because no, he had a hard time mm. walking the Russian because mm. he had the gun there and he was like no, he and, he, 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 he's, and even when he saw him load up the gun yeah. and had the gun like he had, his, he put his finger off. You realize now he's not conflicted because this woman that he has is some sort of Christian or whatever. Yeah. He is on this thing where he's like, listen. I can't be doing this anymore. I think he's yeah. gonna get to the point where he like retired. Yeah, it. yeah. He like he's just like I'm done. You know what I mean? I yeah. I, I think he's getting to that point. It, it, it like I think it might be you know before this before this season is over, yeah. he might see something happen. I don't know, but his story, his arc is definitely getting interesting for me because he's on his it's path. Becoming and more complex. Yeah, than he, he yeah, exactly. Because he was more like the simple guy that just beat up people with mm -hmm. drugs, and that was his thing. But no, he's actually on a different level right yeah. now. You know what I mean? He's, he's trying to sort out himself, but because they're in the business and the nature of the business that they're in, he still has to get his hands dirty, which is so, you know what I mean. What's see what happens? On. Yeah. So um, after that, you get the the Russian guy gets whacked. Then basically. Um, you see them going back to the um the business at like the last clip and then 
you get to see him open the safe and there's just this big room full of money you get to realize that i'm on another level now he has plans to buy the docks like he basically just wants to run birmingham or to be the king of the city mm. all of that stuff and you know what i mean we don't know who the real main villain is because somebody got whacked yeah we don't, no, yeah. We, we, don't we don't see the main villain yet but i guess they're, they're you know they're, uh, what is, uh, there's four episodes for the season i believe or six it's six or it's six usually six yeah i think yeah, it's six so, yeah, it six. Six. so it's gonna be six so I mean, Hopefully the next episode we get a bit more context before they start. Exactly. I mean, I, I, I kind of got the gist of it, um, yeah. but the episode was just like a good reintroduction to yeah. everybody, where everybody's at right now. I, I kind of like how I saw um, Polly's son kind of elevate himself, yeah. him, on, him on some pimp shit, and you know <laughs> what I mean? Like he's on some, he's on some real OG issue, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, I rate, I rate like the level that he's on. He's basically like um, Tommy's right hand man at the end of the mm. day, like he kind of left it that way. Mm. He's the only one that I think like he could trust in that aspect yeah. or whatever. You know, Polly is always still there. She's the the one Major that's right by his side. Yeah, exactly, the big you yeah. know woman of the family and stuff like that. So I'm just curious to see how everything pans out. Um, I hope that we we'll get see to see Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, of course. We want to see. We want to see. Um, be some what's her What's her name again? Um, May. The other, May. Yeah. I want. I want to see how that end up Dynamics. going. But here's the thing. Mm. That. George and our Russian bird or whatever she and Tommy I think something there was something happen. there there was yeah. something there you know what I mean too much so eye contact Grace is you know, Grace might long. get a little bit of bun and cheese mate <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> a little bit of bun a little bit of cheese <laughs> anyway so that's basically it um stay tuned for you don't know next episode mm -hmm. same time same channel Yard Reviews um, also remember subscribe youtube.com slash Yard Reviews also remember to check out Irv's WordPress Big picture small screen dot wordpress dot com. Also, um, big picture film club. I think you guys. Yeah, were doing we have some a stuff. screening on the eighteenth of May. Eighteenth of May. Close up cinema. So check it out, guys. All of that good stuff. Um, me and Earth signing out. Big up yourself.